Wherever you go, there you are. And if you are fe feeling miserable, if you are a cantankerous type of person, whomever you're with will piss you off. That's just the way it goes. I have been with in, on really good dates before and I just wasn't in a good place. And that's how the date ended up. It's because that person was vibing off of me. And so it is a relationship with yourself. And a person can be, and you, we all have actually been on dates, met people who, that no matter what, it's never good enough, there's always something wrong, and you, do, you just shower this person with love, and somehow they manage to sabotage your relationship because they can't stand your light. You know, it's shining on their darkness without them being aware of it. And of course, you try to hold space for them, love them, and guide them through that, but it only makes them more upset because they're seeing how much they're not where you think they are. That's why a lot of us get really uncomfortable in deeper relationship because someone's saying, but I still love you. But I still love you. And it's reminding me, like, but I don't, still don't love myself. So, yes. I've dated like 10 of those. <laughs> <laughs> Probably more. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> well, hopefully in this workshop, that so will I'm change. I'm for one, singular. Okay. Well, well, hopefully, but those one people, all ten people have led to this now moment, this one moment, right now that hopefully receive some information that will shift that. I want to talk about like uh, some stories I've had with Find the One also, and just the ideas that we create. Because Find the One is, here's the thing, is that my idea relationship is usually based on what will bring me comfort, what will bring me joy, what will be more harmonious. And I want someone who has commonalities with me. Of course I do. I want someone who's on the same level of consciousness as far as spirituality. I want someone who's sexual and, and all these other things that can make a rock and relationship. However, in that, I also know there might be parts of myself that's not really as evolved as I think. And that shows up in those types of relationships. And so I know that we create ideas to hopefully sometimes fill a void Sometimes it's to make us feel better about ourselves, to make us look better, to make us feel more complete, protected, and so forth. And those who actually suffer the most in, say, therapy, are ones, I, I teach them this, and yet they still are trying to find the one. They're, everything that they're doing, in fact, they are in therapy to work on themselves to be better so they be a better catch. When they already are a great catch, but they just can't see it. So as long as you think, you know, that whatever this person is, is outside of yourself, and that if you do more things, say externally, like you try to manipulate the physical world by changing how you look, the way that you approach relationships, the person's gonna keep moving further away because essentially what you're saying from the get-go is that I'm not worthy now. I'm not there now. I'm not vibrating that now. So the best thing that you can do is only be ready now, right now. And it's not a process in which it has to take a long time. And some people, they go through breakups and they hear this stuff from maybe probably even therapists that, you know, it's a process. It's a, you know, you just, you're with someone for 10 years. It might take a year before you're ready. That's bullshit. Yeah. I mean, some people take longer, but it's really up to you. Consciousness can shift just like that. Have you been completely in love with someone who had, you know, you ended the relationship and you're torn and hurt and then one day you just kind of forgot about the person or where you just didn't even know why you're attracted to this person? Just one day it shifted? Mm -hmm. Do you know the exact day when it actually shifted or was it a gradual process? Like meaning, could you actually see the gradual process of slowly this person moving at your psyche? Or was it just kind of one of those moments you realized, wait a minute, I've, I haven't even spoken about this person in a long time. Have you had that experience? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So that's my point. So if you are thinking that's going to be harder to get through a breakup or you are thinking how things are going to be, you're right. Because what you're doing is you're creating that which is before you and also you are hardwiring your brain to perceive that experience. So it can't get any better than how you feel about yourself and new things are happening in this now moment. Did that make sense? Are you following? Okay. So finding one, it, it reminds me of the story that I dated this person 
a long time ago. It was like my first love. And we drifted off for like 20 years. And she picked up an article that I had written. And I was a much different looking guy when she dated me. I mean, I looked pretty crazy. And so she didn't know. She wasn't sure it was me. And then she contacted me. And then we reconnected. And she was having trouble in her relationship. And she created this idea because we always had this really deep connection no matter what. And so she started talking about leaving her husband to be with me and yet I had no longer had any interest with her. And she kept saying and talking about the connection we have, the connection that we have, the connection that we have. And honestly, while I felt as though I had a good connection to her, it wasn't romantic for me. It wasn't the same idea. And she kept creating this idea where it became a little crazy. But she and her mind was thinking, you know, if I would have just made that one decision 20 years ago, I would have, if I would have done that, and she started becoming infatuated because she thought I was the one, the one that was going to maybe relieve her from her pain, maybe spice up her life or something. And the reality is that I, wa I was maybe the one to help her recognize that she needs to work on the problems that she's having in a relationship. Do you understand? So the one will show up. It's just whether or not you're conscious of it and if you're willing to accept what that one person might be. If you were being offered some free tools that could get you unstuck, would you be interested? If so, visit raydoctor.com and receive your free transformational exercises. Imagine starting each day feeling deeper love, a clearer mind, and being able to say to yourself, I really feel good. My clients love these and so will you. Get them now for free at raydoctor.com.